Hello everyone, welcome to Code Simple. In this video, we are going to see a couple of things. The first one is we are going to create an API endpoint which is used for creating a bulk insert okay, of our records. And in the next item, what we are going to do is optimization for that. Okay, Let's say we are going to create a 1 lakh records. Okay, So how much time it will take to insert those 1, one lakh records in our DB. So let's pitch in the first one, API creation. So if you are new to this channel, uh, I already have this application called the Bookstore API, which I am posting in uh, GitHub also. So here we already have three controllers, author, book and login. And this is my DB, okay, Bookstore DB. Now I am going to create a new API inside a book controller, okay. So let's say we are going to create a bulk books into the DB, right. So I'm going to the book controller. I'm going to create a new API. Copy paste the existing code. Change the HTTP method to post mapping. Okay. And I'm going to give the endpoint as bulk books. And the method name I'm going to give it bulk books again. Right. And I don't have any param. So I'm going to remove all the params here. I'm going to accept a body okay so here i'm going to accept that request body the dto i already created for this request body which is bulk book request dto which contains only one variable instance variable called books it's a list of book dto and corresponding getter and setter method i have so now this is the one i'm going to use it in this controller request body so i'm going to type in here bulk request body dto i need to give a, a name for this and this is my name okay i'm going to remove this return and uh, in my bookstore sorry in my book service okay i'm going to create one more new method called book service right so i'm going to pass this bulk book dto here okay and since this is a not existing one so i'm going to create a new method here this is my book service class and here i have created a method and this will return an api response which is a custom uh, class which i have defined for now i'm going to create a just new api response okay i don't want to return any other things so it will always give the new object back right so here i'm going to write a logic i need to iterate the dto Okay, it's an array, right? It's an array of uh, book DTO, right? So let me write a for loop here. So bulk DTO dot get books will return the list of books DTO. Okay, and then I'm going to do a for each, okay, uh, of book DTO, or I can say each, okay. And then here I'm going to create a book entity called book okay and then for this book entity I'm going to set all the variables so I'm going I'm going to set the name uh, which is coming from this each dot get name so like this I'm going to set it okay so I will quickly set for other things. Going to have one more list of book. Okay. This is the main, let's say this is called books entity and uh, going to create a new variable. Okay. I'm going to in initialize this one as also with the array list and whatever i'm doing it here i'm going to add it in that array okay so here i'll be adding this book whichever we have generated right now after this for loop we will be having the list of books right so this list of books only we are going to store it in the db or save it in the db so we'll be using existing book repository class dot save and uh, i'm going to pass this books entity here okay okay let's quickly just test this one 
so that we can move on to the next one okay so here i have created a endpoint called book bulk books and this is the name of the key called books which we have created already uh, this one this book dto this is the name of the book so whichever name you are given here same name you have to use it here okay else this mapping won't happen right so i'll quickly show my db for this books oops i need to log in again log in okay so here i have books table it does, this doesn't have anything so now i think application is started right let's verify this yeah application started in 7000 port number and i'm going to hit this endpoint with these two records okay okay yeah so this is done now if you see the table uh, i have two records okay so perfect it is starting from one then two if i hit uh, again the next request let's say i'm going to hit now with four records okay comma and enter so don't bother about the content here just want to understand the concept okay so yeah i have again i have sent hit or this api and going to refresh this page yeah so the previous two and uh, the new four now totally six records are there okay so everything is fine we are uh, talking about the bulk insert right so now we have inserted only uh, like two or four records at once correct now let's say if your application wanted to insert like uh, thousands or lakhs of records okay then definitely this will take a time right because going to execute uh, insert statement for each record right for thousand means thousand times that insert statement will execute and uh, you can think about the lakhs of records getting uh, created okay it is not a good uh, running the single statement again and again right so for that first thing is i'll just show you a quick demo so in the service whichever we are taking from the user the request body i'm not going to use this i'm just commenting this out and uh, i'm going to create a for loop here okay so this for loop will execute let's say 10,000 times right and here what we are going to do is we are going to just create a dummy records here okay and then we are going to use the same entity which we created previously and we will be pushing that each book into there that one we are going to insert it here okay so instead of we are taking from the dto we are just hard coding it and we are iterating for 10,000 times now okay let me restart this application and if you see this one the previously got executed within 19.6 milliseconds for four records right now this got increased to 10,000 I think application is started yes started so now i'm going to hit th now this doesn't matter you can send or you don't need to send anything okay so anyway we are going to hit uh, 10000 times send okay sorry it is unauthorized and i'm going to hit the login button to generate the token again so if you guys uh, wanted to know all these endpoints you can refer my previous video but the only catch is it is not in english so sorry for that but you can able to see the code anyway going forward i will be making in english so that is that won't be an issue going forward okay so now i'll send this okay just note how many seconds it takes to execute 10,000 10, records it's hardly five more than five uh, seconds okay and uh, we'll go and verify the db ones so previously we have six records now 10,000 plus 6, so 10,006 records should be there. Yeah, we have 10,006 records out there. Okay, you can able to see this, right? Fine. So if your number of bulk uh, requests increases, your API result also, API response also will give more, it will take more time. Okay, we'll just quickly check with uh, 
one lakh now one more zero restarting the application okay so i'm just noting down for four records it got created in 19 milliseconds for 10,000 it has around 5.11 seconds now for 10 lakh sorry 1 lakh i'm going to see how much time it will take okay let me hit it okay it is running so it is a 1 lakh records okay you can see how many inserts are happening each insert is happening So it is exactly taken 24 seconds to insert 1 lakh records, okay. So I'll just note down here 24 seconds. And also we'll verify that DB ones. Let me refresh this. Yeah, so 1 lakh 10,000 and 6 records are there currently. Okay, and I'm going to show you the console now. Yeah, so this is the console. See, you can able to see this one, right? Insert, 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 insert into, okay now how we can optimize this okay so is there a way yeah definitely is there a way so that is the second portion uh, batch insert okay so we are inserting into a batch say for example here this is a insert into book and we are going to give a only one single row values right if we have i mean there is a option to give a multiple values at once once insert statement okay so but how do we do that in our spring boot and my uh, in our db okay so for your information i am using mysql database okay and let me show you the steps what needs to be done for bulk insert or batch insert the first and foremost is we have to go to our application.yaml file okay which is uh, here so we have application yaml file for each environment so anyway i'm going i'm using this dev one only by default i'm here and the first thing is we have to enable some properties okay uh, not enable actually i have already added but i'm going to enable it now but you have to add this property in order to achieve your batch thing okay so by default hibernate will disable this batch thing okay so uh, if you if you provide some numbers then only it will enable the batch insert okay so here this is the property name spring i'm using spring boot so its property name is spring dot jpa dot properties dot hibernate blah 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 this one and uh, why i am given thousand is so each time thousand records will be inserted once okay so it won't be like each thousand times you are not going to insert it we are collecting all the thousand records once the batch sizes comes th thousand we are inserting it and the next properties this is for insert okay so we can on and off which one we wanted so for insert i told yes for update i told yes so that means true okay if you don't want to allow this batch for update you can always remove this or you can put it false also fine okay and the last one is this generate statistics so this will be useful to see and compare our uh, the older way of insert and the newer batch insert the result okay uh, anyway in our uh, terminal okay we will be able to see only insert into insert into okay after we do for batch also it will be insert into like 10,000 times it will do this but the execution will happen whichever the size which we mentioned here right so this is the first step we have to do for batch okay and since uh, the db also supports batch insert by default they will be disabling it so i need to enable that one also okay so for that i need to add this particular query param or optional param okay in my db url so that the db will allow to insert this as a batch okay so for mysql this is called the rewrite batched statements okay so just uh, check for your database whichever you are using okay so this is the first step which we did already here okay and the next step is i'm going to show you the entity class for the book okay this is the entity class and if you see this id is auto generated id right 
and here what is the strategy we have given we have given auto so that hibernate will decide what is the strategy for each database uh, uh, dependent okay so now we are for all the cases you don't need to put auto uh, for uh, this batch one you need to give a sequence okay now there is a problem in mysql if i give a sequence and if i start this application right mysql doesn't support this sequence okay so what to do in that case uh, that i'll tell you what uh, we have to do but i'm just showing you the error what error you will be getting it so you will be getting it this one does not support pulled sequence okay now what to do for this there is a way here okay I'm going to edit that so here there is a generator okay so in this generator we can give whatever generator we want i can just name this generator as uh, let's say abc okay and next is there is a annotation called generic generator here we have we can give the name okay so the name is nothing but i have to give the same name whichever i have given in the generated value and then i need to give the strategy so strategy is increment okay that means we are incrementing our auto incremented value right that one we are increment that is a strategy so for my sequel you have to give like this okay then only it will work now let me try to start this application okay so you can able to see it is started and if you scroll there is some extra things are happening you can able to notice now uh, this is because we have enabled uh, some statistics right in our uh, application yaml file because of that okay so we can able to see how many connections we are uh, clearing and how many seconds it uh, got executed it is like a verbose level okay now we don't need to bother about any of the things now here i'll just going to clear the uh, i just clear this console and now let's say for the same request that means for the in our application we have given 1 lakh records right so just reconfirming that yeah we have given 1 lakh records and previously the 1 lakh records uh, took 24 seconds to insert okay so now let's see how much second it is getting in so this is optimized okay let's go and execute now hit okay it is running yeah now you can see it just takes 4.27 hardly less than 5 seconds okay so i'll just put 4.27 seconds so now you can able to compare this is 24 seconds for the same payload this is 4 seconds so we hardly reduced 20 seconds okay so it is a very huge uh, optimization we'll just verify our db also once so previously it's uh, 1 lakh 10000 records and now if i refresh 2 lakh 10006 records batch size you can always increase and now if you see the result here this is the statistics okay this is the batch this if you notice this line okay we have executed 100 batches okay why because we have given one batch is equal to 1000 okay so we requested a payload for 1 lakh records so if you multiply these two it will come 1 lakh right so that's why it is giving 100 batches so i hope this will help you to optimize your code if suggest me if uh, is there any other way of uh, optimization so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to code simple if you are not already subscribed uh, and also please comment whatever doubts you have in spring boot i will be trying to make it uh, video uh, like this and i'll be posting it okay thank you guys and bye